This is the second season in a row where it feels that Houston Rockets have their hands tied. Of course, it all started with signing of Chris Paul to a Supermax. Due to this, Rockets have very little room to improve outside and it even placed a stigma on the team. It seems that Rockets had a chance to sign Jimmy Butler. I don't know how they would be able to pull that one off and I don't even want to go into financials. Rockets options are highly dependent on their roster salaries and how they address the situation. But instead of talking about the money, I want to focus on something else. I want to talk about one big issue that I feel is holding Rockets back and that is a lack of interior threat. It is well known that Houston either shoots threes or goes all the way to the bucket. They are completely focused on a particular type of play and there is very little variation to this system. Mid-range shots are completely disregarded as inefficient shots. This is precisely why pursuit of Jimmy Butler was so puzzling to me as he is known as a guy who lives by shooting mid-rangers. Perhaps this is a sign that Rockets want to change? Rockets need to work hard to get those open 3-point shots. It usually comes down to Harden's penetration. When he gets doubled, he will kick out to an open outside shooter, which in turn leads to a high percentage shot. For a team that is highly dependent on trees, I feel that Rockets need more ways of creating open perimeter shots. They need more ways of collapsing the defense, which is why a post threat would be so awesome. The way I see it, the best way to mix things up is by getting a skilled big. Both Houston management and the fans have shown they are willing to part with Clint Capella. So much so that the fans trashed his car recently. Unfortunately, there aren't many guys like Jokic or Embiid who would fit this role. But to make things even worse, not only does this player have to be efficient in the paint, but also recognize when one of the outside shooters is open and deliver the ball after being double teamed. In this video, I will consider three possible options from worst to best. Given that free agency is basically over and most centers are off the board, Houston will likely have to go for a trade. My focus will be on players who are possibly redundant and their organizations are willing to trade them. So, I will analyze things that can be done, not the things that fans would like to be done. Keep in mind that I will not get into financials too much as I'm already puzzled as to how Houston can plan anything at this point. Number 1. DeMarcus Cousins There are so many questions regarding DeMarcus Cousins. From his injury to his attitude, it is a really bad sign that he got injured several times over. He probably rushed his return to court, which is why all of this has happened. But the fact that not even the Warriors are willing to re-sign him is a big red flag. When he returns to the game, he will be even slower, which will hamper his defense. Furthermore, I'm not certain whether or not Houston Rockets can wait for that much. The good side of it all it would come cheap. Number 2. Steven Adams Financially, Oklahoma City Thunder is in a very similar situation as the Rockets. They are looking for ways to deal Steven Adams. And while Rockets are not an ideal partner, we can talk about hypotheticals as how he might end in Houston. To me, Steven Adams is poorly judged by the mainstream media. For example, everyone is praising him for his defense, but if you check his advanced stats, such as defensive box plus minus, you would notice that he is much lower ranked than you would have expected. Again, one stat is not enough to judge a player, but I have seen it with my own eyes certain matchups where Adams struggled a lot. Due to the fact that he's seen as a strong guy, people perceive him as a good defender. On the other hand, I think his offense is pretty underrated. He has an amazing hook shot and when he starts making those, he's really hard to stop. There has been a lot of debate that he isn't utilized enough as a part of OKC offense. While he definitely has his drawbacks, I think he would be a major improvement on the offense. Number 3. Domantas Sabonis Even though Domantas has a much larger role nowadays, I feel he is still underutilized. In my opinion, 
he can easily be a starting center on one of the teams. He's a very technical player with a great touch, he can pass, he can post up, he can make nice screens. Sabonis is very similar in that regard to many European players as he is pretty solid on the offense but lacks on the defense. Generally speaking, I feel that he's a better player than Clint Capella and if used properly, he might have a better impact on the Rockets. Just remember how big of an impact Marcus Gasol had this year on the Toronto, improving their offense immensely. Of course, I don't think that Sabonis is as great as Gasol, but he will still help in transforming Rockets offense. Now, interesting thing with Sabonis is the fact that he doesn't play well with Miles Turner. This means there is a chance he will remain a reserve on Pacers. There have been a lot of rumors surrounding him, which is why I feel he would be available in a trade. Although Houston Rockets have proven over and over again they are extremely strong, they might consider shaking things up. To me, the best way to do this is by getting a new center. Anyway, this is my take. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, see ya!